Hey guys, this is Kelly here with KZ Geckos and I am going to do an unboxing of, not a gecko, but uh, my new boa. So I'm very excited about this, been waiting for it for a little while. Let me go ahead and cut her open here. Uh, we've been, I've been very, very interested in getting into some snakes and doing um, a snake project down the road and I really really am excited about working with boas I think that they're just like the for me them one of the most exciting snakes there is to work with uh, for a lot of different reasons open this up here one thing before you unbox your reptile really important wash your hands Make sure your hands are all washed. I just picked her up first thing this morning um, through FedEx. And she is from Beatrix Reptiles. I will put the description uh, of them, or their link, excuse me, I'll put their link in the description below so you guys can take a look. And all right. I'm very excited. I'm kind of talking fast and moving fast because I just want to get her open. I'm pretty, pretty excited. Styrofoam. Got a nice cryo pack actually to keep her a little bit cooler because she, where she came from, Texas, it was a little bit warm. And right now, today here, it's about 80 degrees and very wet. All right. Oh, got a printing label. And she's be in a little bag here. We got the styrofoam. Oh, she's little. little snake bag doesn't feel too cool which is good a little bit concerned here in Minnesota it's so difficult to deal with the weather when it comes to shipping and baby animals because it can change so quickly. Doing? Sorry guys, I'm just wow. Very curious. Little head out. Oh. This is a boa constrictor and parator or boa and parator. Uh oh wow. Very cute little head. Oh, getting sassy. Getting sassy. <laughs> wow. Oh, she's got her pink sides. Oh my goodness. Yeah, boa constrictor imperator. Uh, this particular variety or snake or race, I guess you could say, comes from um, this particular race comes from Costa Rica and the locality is the, I think it's this, if I say it correctly, um, the San Isidor El General. And her parents were out of Vince Russo of Cutting Edge Herp. I love her funky saddles right there. And this is a pure locality snake. So her parents actually, her, her grandparents rather, um, actually I believe her grandparents, um, actually came from that particular location, which is what really interests me. What really interests me with these boas. I'm really not 
too interested in getting into the morphs myself um, when it comes to my future boa projects. I really would like to get into more locality based stuff, the smaller uh, quote unquote dwarf versions, I'll say, quote unquote. Um, and these different particular localities because I just think they're so interesting. I do think that there's a little bit of a genetic superiority, I will say it. Everybody can get mad at me, but I'm going to say it. And uh, in the future, I would really actually also like to get into the true red tail boas as well. I think that's just the most beautiful snake. So, all right, before I stress her out anymore, I'm going to go ahead and put her in a little bit of a bin of water, uh, about a little bit of warm water, and let her hydrate for about 15 minutes while I put um, the last little hide in her cage. I didn't put the hide in her cage yet because I wasn't sure how big she was going to be, so I have a couple to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Thank you guys for watching. I'm very excited. Sorry about the lack of editing and the stumbling. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.